Hey Forest Wielders, welcome back to the channel. Today we have some fiery speculation about the Acolyte Episode 4 and who is the true identity of Maze Master. We're mainly going to be talking about two characters which seem to know a lot more than everyone is led to believe. Some of our previous series have actually been confirmed and if you haven't watched a video on these you can check them out at the end. Remember this is fan made and based on speculation. Now we don't have a ton of confirmed details about who is behind this friggy mask but let's just say there are more characters who are shrouded in secrecy who could lead us to the answer. Whispers online suggest Chimere, May's companion thus far and fellow acolyte of the Dark Master. This guy is definitely someone who dabbles in the dark side or knows a thing or two about forbidden force techniques. Even when May asked about if he's seen the Master's face, he reacted very off-putting and matter-of-fact. He also seems to be toying with May, asking her more questions about how to go about these lessons and becoming slightly annoyed when May doesn't follow as he's rushing the scene and when May leaves him hanging it seems a person so skilled to traverse the forest of Kolfar where Kalnaka lived and make it out alive may easily have made it back to the domicile in time does all this sound familiar that's exactly the kind of being who could be pulling the strings behind May's darker training the Sith worked in the shadows at around this time and was theorized and pushed aside meant to be hidden and forgotten but here's the thing that throws a wrench in this whole theory, Master Soul's reaction. There's a couple scenes that suggest he totally recognizes something about May's master. This could mean a couple of things. It seems like Soul sensed a being from his past, someone not as easily recognizable as Kelnaka as he immediately sensed when they arrived on Kofar, but someone who he's haunted by and has tried desperately to forget, acting similar to how Ahsoka is haunted by Darth Vader. Maybe Soul and May's master go way back, like Jedi buddies who had a falling out over some philosophical disagreements. Or maybe there's a more personal connection, like they used to train together, or darker, like how he was somehow responsible. Imagine the betrayal if Soul recognizes May's master, or if the girls recognize the master and it's someone they trusted completely. This personal connection could be a major plot point in episode 5 or 6, adding a whole new layer of emotional turmoil to the mix. Maybe especially if Osha doesn't get to hear what Soul had to reveal. So it's kind Chimere the key to unlocking the mystery of May's master? Or is there another suspect behind the mask? That's the beauty of speculation. Here are some questions to get your brains buzzing like the abrupt end to episode 4. How could Soul's past with the May's master affect the dynamic between him, the acolyte, and the girls? Could this figure be disfigured as May seems to think they need a guide to get far and Chimere never seeing their face? Are May and Kaimia's actions in this episode all deception? Or could there be a larger Sith conspiracy at play with Kaimia and May just being pawns in a bigger game? Hit that like button and drop your theories in the comments below. Share your thoughts on Kaimia, May's master, and Soul's reaction. Remember, this is all just speculation, but it is bringing us together. Let's use the force of our collective knowledge to crack this case open before episode 5 even drops. May the force be strong with you. Until next time, we are flying out.